This is how we challenge the process, which is shorthand for how do we change things? Because anybody's vision of the future, if it has power to it, is going to require a change in the status quo. It's going to mean we're going to have to go from where we are to somewhere else. And how do we do that? Through the, the practice of challenge, the process, the first thing we do is search for opportunities by seizing the initiative and looking outward for innovative ways to improve. There's always something that can be improved, correct? Anything can be improved. Our job as leaders is to mine the status quo for where are the opportunities for us to do something a little different. It might be a little thing, it might be a collection of small things, it might be a big idea once in a while, but to be continually looking for opportunities to move things ahead. And then recognize that change doesn't happen through certainty. Actually, change happens through experimentation and failure. That we have to be willing to experiment and take risks by constantly generating a series of small wins, the occasional big win, and learning from experience along the way. Because most of us are a little afraid of failure, do you think? What do you think as you get older? Do you become happier about taking risks, experimenting, and failing? Or does it get harder? But what we know in organizations that people like kind of the comfort zone, right? We like to stay where we are, what we know, and help people see that there is a better possibility for them if they're willing to take it on. That's a message from us as leaders that we have to be very sensitive to because not everybody's kind of gotten to the point where, yeah, okay, I have enough left to lose, so what can they do? My hair is already gray, whatever. Uh, so we're going to talk a lot about challenge the process and how we make that change process happen within our organizations because without it, the vision's not going to come to pass, right? In fact, my view is as leaders, we spend most of our time here challenging the process. Yeah, so you think about, okay, Jack Welch, General Electric, they make stuff and sell it, right? And this is true for that kind of business, right? If they're not moving faster than their competitors, if they're not moving faster internally than the people around them, they're sunk. That's going to be true in any manufacturing organization, but isn't it true in your organization as well? I mean, we have a lot of public sector folks here, and you know, we're used to thinking about <clears throat> the public sector as well. Okay, same stuff, different day. We just go along here, nothing ever really changes. But that's not true, is it? It can't be true. In fact, if we want to bring dignity back to the public sector, which is a big goal of mine, we need to be moving. We need to pick it up, folks, right? And we, as leaders, it's our role to help them do that.